Ayan, gagayam. Are you ready? It's very satisfying. Nagbunot yung kakastikat. Wow! Gagayam. Nay! Nagpintas. Ngayon pag nga aldaw yung gagayam kakabsat at ang nga aldaw nga ka ipakita kinya yung ajay garden tayo. Garami tayo ti Um, garden update nga vlog tatang nga aldaw. So, I hope that you stay tuned. Thank you for watching Ilocana Gardener again, gagayam. Agyama na nga unay kinyayo. Gagayam kakabsat. Kita niya ato yun eh. Oh. Ati po kong William eh. I trimmed it heavily, gagayam kakabsat. Di ba ang pakita kinyayo yun eh. Ato I think a few days ago, I showed it to you. And now, gagayam kita niya niya. Nalinisak dito ko yan. Nang ganun ito yung matintindag ng sabong. Tsaka, it has very sharp um, thorns na eh. Ito niya niya. Sharp, sharp, sharp. So, it was very good to trim it so that Charlie can still play over here. Yan, gagaya. I'm trying to encourage it to go over the wall, not grow here. Kalala arch. So we're training it, gagayim. And over here, gagayim kakabsat, I trimmed my lavender. You see, I've been training it, gagayim kakabsat, to grow taller so that the bed is accessible and I can put fertilizer and stuff like that down here. Been training it quite a while. I've had this since I think 2020. Usually, gagayim kakabisat. If you don't train your lavender, they grow up like this, like a bush, right? And um, I have a few more examples over here. This one is a very wild bed. I haven't cleaned it. But anyway, that's how they grow in a bush. So, I've been training them. This one I still have to uh, trim. There's a lot of spent flowers, dried flowers. Nah, chaka, it's getting really heavy. The bottom is getting really heavy. So, it's time to trim the bottom and um, get all the flowers and get it to my chicken coop so that the chickens can enjoy the relaxing scent of lavender anyway gagayim kakabsat um i wanted to show you out here um my harvest ne nagado i harvested a whole bunch the other day too and keeps reducing so over here gagayim kakitaan nyo nyo I, I just harvested so there's no more in a few days but I think I have another month with the peas next week I think it's going to be really hot so peas don't really like hot weather so it's going to be 90 degrees Fahrenheit next week so it might die down which is alright because Check out our sayote, chayote, sayote. Ni nagaduti um nagaduti kwanan side growth shoots. Atay madapay may salito. So ngano kalat kat data na hang hanga umanay ato piece ta yon. So it's good that we have succession planting over here and when I cut down the piece it's gonna release some nitrogen to the soil so it's a good idea it's a very cloudy day again let me show you what these ground squirrels have been doing to my garden the red stuff is cayenne pepper something hot to discourage them this is my kale that i harvested a few days ago 
kinanda na aminan kapkabusur ko and then my cool Ravi over here check out what they did they chewed through all of this stuff and um here's another one awa na ibus so nga koma nga continue nga ag tubo da gitoy and yo ko gayam ko kabusol ko ta ura atoy nyanaganan kalabasak may ko kinandakit din ko gayam kada ti na fertilize nga amok nga na fertilize nga ko nga kalabasa to eh kasi i personally like fertilized it and they bit through it and <sighs> sayang but today we're lucky because there are some new kalabasa that are growing and blooming there's another one right there pinalobakti screen na di may san but that was yesterday and we didn't have a um, male flower bloom yesterday but today there were two male flowers so um, I fer fertilized it, um, hand fertilized it, and I left one male flower over here for the bugs to do their job. But I manually fertilized um, all of the blooming female flowers with the male flower that I found over here. Yeah, go them. Hopefully, um the squirrels don't get to this today because tomorrow i'm gonna cover these kalabasa blooms uh once they've been open for a day i'll close them tomorrow with i'll close them tomorrow with screen yeah Tanyati rose. Wow. Dape kalaman sigdita. Yagagayam. I was out here because I wanted to show you my beets. It's my ground bed. Baglaki dun tampang and kanti. Nagijay squirrel dagiti. Kamatis, peppers, bush beans, beets, carrots. Dati okrak dijay. Kalkalo bakit din ani ah, eh, takalkalienda. Ah, kapkabusor ko nga talaga dito yung ground squirrels. Ah, but what can you do? There's too many of them. So, i-harvest tayo atin yung gagayam tayo, lambong tayo, kalala snacks ni Bosing. Dati may isa di dyan, ipadakalan tayo, no? Siguro nga ikabunotok atin yung nga ikamapadakalan pa yung may isa. So, nga alahan tayo atin it's about this size anyway. Kita niya niya. May atin siguro ato yung harvest. So I wanted to show you um, the uprooting of this beets. Yeah, gagayam. Are you ready? It's very satisfying. Nagbuno ti kakastik it. Wow, the guy nay, like pintas, the cool line, reds, and I red, and I red. I think the sooner that you harvest these beets, the more tender they are. So it's good that we harvested them early. And go get him. Nice, uh, one, one beet. Beats or one beat or beats? One beats. <laughs> Yan kagayam. Ipaan ko na gito yung tops na dyan ti watayo. Manok tayo. And then I'll just boil this one for snacks. Yan kagayam. Our first beat. Nagmulak pa yung may isang agarayan ko ti beats but I didn't really plant too many of these because they take up a lot of space, Gagayam. Mm -hmm. 
I always have to remember that when I eat one of these, if my number one or number two is red when I go to the bathroom, it's because I ate beets. Sometimes I panic. What? The, what is going on? I am on the beets. So I'm gonna boil this for snacks. Gagayam. Nice, sweet. Nice, sweet snack. Tony Boosing and there. I was asking him if he wanted some snacks. <laughs> Do you want beet snack? Okay. He said, okay. <laughs> insurance. Oh, insurance? What happened? Oh, Guga, yung kita niya ni. Oh, my larks for his. Start to bloom, Guga, yung. Yan. That's the children of purple. There's another one over there. Okay, Gugayama, I keep getting distracted. I have to feed these to the chickens. Alright, chickens. Here's some greens. Ooh. Here comes the chickens. Yeah. Bye, chickens. See you later. Excuse me, girl. Excuse me. Tigar din tayo, the sunflower tayo, adati faba beans dito, adati cilantro, adati nagtutubo ng zucchini, beans, and uh, we have peppers and tomatoes, zinnia, and we have basil. Let me show you the basil. Okay. This is a uh, Armenian cucumber. And tomato, basil, fava beans, peppers. Pepper. Um, this is, uh, what is this? Parsley. Parsley. And look at the squirrels have been trying these too. And kawawang tomato because the squirrel dug over here and under it, and I think the roots got damaged still alive these brown squirrels are my nemesis there's some basil growing over here and there's also purple basil this is the Italian basil that's a purple opal I think and then uh, over here gagayam rabsat and that the what are you eggplant that eggplant ya baba we have bush beans all around some some of these onions we have tomatoes growing over here fruits are starting you know and um under these are some basil yeah, that the italian basil tayo and over here we have thai basil um, once these grow up a little bit I'm going to trim the bottom leaves and then the basil will get more sun. Yeah. Mayati mulatayan basitan, but I'm constantly struggling with with these squirrels. Of course the <laughs> these squirrels don't really like herbs such as sage so my ati tobonata sage i have oregano i have chilies over here thai chili serrano then i have this one is um shishito pepper and then my overwinter it's um jalapeno i have zinnias over here yeah and over here, Gagayam Gawasat, some long string beans, short string beans. This is a uh, cucumber. And these are tomatoes over here. We have a Cosmo over here. And some basil over here. They're struggling a little bit. 
Ang gagayam. Ito, ito, tinagtubo nga. Zucchini. Yellow. Zucchini. Uh, it's still struggling because it's competing with all of these plants. I wanted it to be there, but it keeps getting eaten by bugs. So, yeah, this is the one that survived. And I just planted a shishito peppers there. And I had a bunch of bitter melon dito. Palit, kinan ti bugs. So, I'm starting new again with seedlings. Hopefully, they'll grow fast enough. But this is the only one that survived. So, yeah. So, I'm growing some more. Anyway, there's some onions over here. Red onions. Dagito isa. Yeah, gagaya mga titigara din tayo. Hopefully, in about a month or two. June and July is typically the time when my garden fully wakes up. But it's starting to wake up garden. So, it's very nice. And these are our harvest today. The twentayate beets. We're just going to boil it for 30 minutes. Look at our beets. It's not the red beets variety. I forgot what this variety was called. I'll look it up. But yeah, it's called Let's take a um let's slice it up and taste it. It's so pretty, Gagayim Karabsa. Look at that circular pattern. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, before I cut it up, before I cut it up, I wanted to show you guys the pattern inside. So cute, Gagayim. Okay, I'll cut it up now, and hopefully it's sweet. And Gagayim. Mm. 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 He ate all of it. Left me one. <laughs> he said that where he comes from, they sell this in the street. It's like street food. Boy. The last piece of the cup set. Um, there's some music where we're watching TV, but anyway. Yeah, the variety is called Chiyogya. Yeah, I'm just going to eat all of it. And that's it. And then we have some other variety of beets growing right now. Mmm. Done. Kagayim kakabisat, mga tayon, kita nyo tisidak. Kinataan nga pasayan. Nagimos. Adati peas from the garden. Kinataan. Adati coconut milk. Adapay tiguan. Ah, shrimp paste na gagayim. Mm. Aramang. Kinibusing. Tofu. Steak. <laughs> Tofu steak with um, peas from the garden. Agbuya kami ng gagayim. Thanks for... Stay tuned, mga